Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be this holiday look right here. My birthday is actually on Christmas and I'm a twin, which that sucked growing up. But I wanted to do a Christmas slash my birthday like holiday look. I don't know exactly what I'm calling it yet. But this is the look I came up with with these pretty emerald green shades. So I love the way it turned out. I hope you guys do too. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. And if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. Alright guys, so starting off, I'm going to prime my eyes as always. I did do my eyebrows like I always do. I hate doing them on camera just because I have to get so freaking close to um, my mirror and it takes me forever to do my eyebrows. But I just used my CoverGirl um, Ultra Fine Brow Pencil. And I'm using my um, ColourPop No Filter Concealer in Light 18. And I'm just going to put this all over my eyelids because I'm going to do my eyes first today because we're going to be playing with some bold colors. So I want to be able to clean it up when we do foundation and concealer. So I'm just going to blend this all out and then set it with my setting powder. Alright, so I'm taking this big fluffy Farah brush and I'm just tapping into my RCMA no color powder that I have in like a little dish right here and I'm just going to run this over that concealer, not like too heavily but just making sure that it's nice and set, that way the shadows blend on top really nicely. So for today's eye look, I'm going to be using the TARDIS Pro palette. This one it looks like this. And then you open it up and it has like your row of shimmers and then all the mattes on, I guess, the middle. Um, but it's super pretty. I want to use this emerald shade down here. So I'm going to start out with some transition shades. So I'm going to go into Innocent and Bold. Innocent is more of like a pinky shade and bold is more of a like a brown So innocent is this one up at the top and then this one what is it is bold Down here at the bottom and I'm just using a big um, Morphe fluffy brush and I'm literally just mixing those two shades together And I'm just gonna start swirling them everywhere like not precise at all so all over the outer corner and then I'll do windshield wiper motions um, in my crease. Just making sure that we have a nice transition because the lid is going to have a dark shade on it. So I don't want any like harshness or I just want everything to blend really nicely. Alright, so those two shades are blended out and now I want to go into this really warm shade called Whimsy, which is this one right here. It's like a like a brick shade. It's really pretty. Well, it's more of like a rustic-y orange shade. So I'm taking that on this little um, Wet n Wild brush. It's just a smaller brush so I can get more precise. And I'm just taking this shade on the outer corner and then I'll go like deep into my crease so I'm gonna go below the first shades and go like right in the crease of my eyelid and just really blend it back and forth So I went ahead and wet this little elf brush. This is just a little packing brush. What is this called? This is just called an eyeshadow. It's literally just called an eyeshadow brush. <laughs> so I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna use this really pretty shade called Trendy. It's that green shade I had showed you down here at the bottom. It's like this pretty emerald green shade. And I'm just going to start packing this from inner corner, like all the way to the outer corner over the whole lid. 
and it's not showing up very well. Okay, so I didn't even realize, but this shade is like a reflective shade, so it's like a greeny emerald shade, and then when you turn to the side, I don't know if you'll be able to see it on camera, but it shifts to like a brown shade. It's really pretty. It almost looks like I already have like brown underneath. I don't even know how to explain it, <laughs> but it's really pretty. So I'm going to go back in with that e.l.f., or not e.l.f. brush, the Wet n Wild little fluffy brush and take that shade Whimsy, that like brick rustic-y orange shade, and I'm just going to work this slightly like on the very, very outer corner and then blend out the edges just to make sure there's no harsh edges. Okay, so that shade's looking like a little blue, I feel like, like more blue than green. I used my finger and everything to pack it on, and it's really pretty, but I wanted a more, a more green shade, if that makes any sense. So I just looked through my palettes, and I'm going to take this shade from the Jaclyn Hill palette. It's this one down here at the bottom. It looks like almost like an olive green shade but when you put it on it's actually pretty close to this one just a little less blue looking so I'm gonna take a little bit of this on what is this, this is a moda brush a smudger brush and I'm just gonna start in the inner corner and just pack it right on top of the shade Alright, I feel like that green literally made, that second green literally made um, the color that I wanted. I'm just going to go ahead and wipe off all this fallout because there was a lot. Alright, so I'm going to jump into the skin before we finish up the eyes. So for primer, I'm going to be using this No Pore Blum Prime Essence by Touch and Soul. It just looks like this. I feel like I've used this in plenty videos and I'm just gonna pop it on my cheeks and blend it on in and then for foundation I'm gonna be mixing two foundations today I have this Juvia's Place I am magic foundation I haven't used this in a while because the shade is like okay the undertone is really yellow so it makes my skin look like really yellow so I'm gonna take this and mix it with this um, Maybelline Superstay Better Skin this one right here because the undertone of this one matches my skin tone a lot better so I'm gonna go ahead and take like a dot of this I am magic foundation this stuff like you literally use the tiniest amount and it'll cover your whole face so I'm going to literally do like a dot on the back of my hand, like I'm talking this big. <laughs> and I'm going to take my big Sonia Kashuk um, marble sponge and I'm going to take this off my hand and start blending it in this way. See, you can see how crazy pigmented it is. I'm even going to bring it over here because I feel like I dabbed too much into it. But I'm just going to blend this all over the face and then I'm going to go in and add the Maybelline one. So I just put that Maybelline one on the back of my hand and you can tell the color difference between these two. It's actually pretty crazy. And I'm just going to dot this one right over top. 
and then blend it in. So, still looking a little bit crazy, but I feel like once I have concealer and everything on, it won't look so crazy. So, I'm going to contour a little bit, like a cream contour. Oh my gosh, it looks like my lip is smaller because <laughs> that foundation got on the top of my lip. So, I'm going to take this LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Fawn. It's just this little guy. These concealers are some of my favorite concealers. Alright, so I have that everywhere and I'm going to take my, what is this, Luxie 512 Small Contour Brush and I'm just going to blend this in. These concealers blend like a dream because you really can't overdo it. Like you see how much I have on and literally I'm just taking this brush and just dabbing it in and it blends so super super easily. So then for concealer I'm going to use my ColourPop No Filter Concealer as always. This is in light 16. This one's a lot lighter than the one I use to prep my eyelids. And to set my concealer, I'm going to go in with my RCMA No Color Powder. I have it in this little dish and I just dip my sponge right into it, like right at the point. And I just go right in and set. Alright, and then I'm actually going to go in with my little e.l.f. powder. This is the Prime and Stay um, Finishing Powder. I really love the way this makes your face look like nice and airbrushed. So I'm actually going to tap this right over the RCMA powder because it literally makes your skin look so flawless. So I'm going to tap that in, bring it under here. And then I'm also going to put it to set my forehead. And then I'm going to go in with my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. And I'm going to take this and go ahead and set the cream contour. Just to make sure nothing's like moving around and sliding all over the place. Alright, and then for blush, I have this Ciate London brush brush blush I actually got this in my boxy charm um, I really want to try it out it's called the marbled light in halo it's this really pretty marbled like mauvey shade I'm just gonna take a big fluffy brush and I don't know how pigmented oh it looks really pigmented new products I'm always like super careful because you never know when you go in if you're gonna get a ton of pigment or if you're gonna need to like rub around a little bit this one is super pigmented and I actually really like this shade it gives you like that nice flush to your face I think it's really pretty and I'm gonna put some on my nose And then for highlight, I'm super excited because I ordered the Laura Lee Los Angeles, I thought I had it right here, but I don't, um, her Nudie Patootie palette, and it was like $20 on Black Friday, and then it came with three of her loose highlights and a um, liquid lip. So this is shade Sugar and Spice. This is what the packaging looks like. The color is like this super pretty rose gold shade. Oh my god, I'm like obsessed with it. So I'm going to apply this. You literally need like the tiniest amount. See it comes with like a little sifter on one side and you can close it. And my dumb self didn't close it. So I'm going to take a tiny bit of this and actually like tap it off into the lid. But the highlight is so pretty. It's like this 
gold. I can't even describe it. It's just so pretty. You see a lot of gold in it though, which I really love for my highlights. Like I love a golden highlight. All right, so face is all done. Before we go in and finish up the lower lash line, I wanna do liner and um, mascara and lashes. So I'm gonna use this Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. This is the shade Intense Black. It's just this little um, black felt tip liner. And then for lashes, I'm gonna use my Wispies. I have like this pair I've been using sitting right here. So these are just the regular Ardell Wispies, not the natural ones. Um, they have like a bunch of different kinds now. Or the Demi's. I like the Demi Wispies as well, but they have more of like a gradient. Like the inner corner is a lot shorter and then it gets longer as it goes out. These Wispies are kind of like the same length all the way around. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this liner and my lashes and I will be right back. All right, liner and lashes are on. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the lower lash line and then lips. So I have this um, Jordana eyeliner in O2 Brown. It's just a um, dark brown eyeliner. And I'm gonna apply this right in my waterline. I never put like black, blacks or browns in my waterline, but I feel like for this look, it's gonna look really nice. All right, so that brown didn't show up really well and I was looking for a black eyeliner and I found this emerald green liner. It's called Bodyography in shade Emerald and I thought, I thought this would be perfect for this eye look. Wait, why is this? Oh, eye pencil, yeah. I thought it said lip pencil for a minute. I was like, hold on. So I'm actually going to take this since it like literally matches um, the shade on my lid. I'm gonna take this and put it like over top the brown. I know that sounds kind of weird. All right, this isn't coming off at all. Sometimes you have to warm up liners like on the back of your hand. I used to like take a lighter and like run it through it. So let me see. There we go. I feel like that looks really pretty. I hope it doesn't just look black on camera. I hope you can see um, the green because it's so pretty. Okay, so I want to go ahead and blend the liner out. So I want to go back into the Tarte palette and I'm going to use the first shades that I used earlier. This pinky one and then this one at the bottom. And I'm just using a like, it's kind of like a fluffy brush, but then when you turn it to the side, it's more precise. It's called Chic Pro Eyeshadow Brush. I honestly think I got this at like Marshalls or TJ Maxx for like $2. So I don't really know the brand. But I'm just going to run these shadows back and forth on my lower lash line. And then I'm going to take a little um, pencil brush. This is just a Moda brush. It's called a detail brush. And I'm going to go in with that like rustic orangey shade. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to start on the outer corner and connect it to the top shadows. And just blend it out back and forth. And I'm, I never take my shadows like all the way in. So I stop like where um, my lash line stops. All right, and then I'm just gonna take a flat angled little brush and I'm gonna go in with this really dark brown shade called Smoked. It's this one right here. 
And I'm gonna take this and push it. Let me see if I can, I have to get so close to my eyeball. This is why I don't do liner and mascara on camera because I'll be out of the frame. But I'm going to push it up against the lash line, like right against my waterline, against that liner, just to kind of blend the liner out. And then I'm going to take this shade in this palette called Glam. This palette smells like chocolate. If you guys have ever had a Tarte palette and it smells like chocolate, you know what I'm talking about. It smells so good. So I'm going to go in with a little tiny Morphe brush, the one I always use for my inner corner, this tiny one right here. And the shade Glam is actually like a, it's like a champagne shade. It's this one right here. All right, and then last but not least is lips. So I'm going to take this Sonia Kashuk lip pencil in the shade Maple. This is what it looks like. It's a super old pencil, but it's like this perfect mauve shade for this um, lipstick I want to use today. All right, so lips are lined. I've been doing this thing lately where I've been kind of like connecting my cupid's bow because I don't like how deep my cupid's bow is so I kind of like just follow my lips so I'll like start here and just like connect it to the other side and it just makes your lips look much more full I really like it Okay, so then for my lipstick, I'm going to be using this Laura Lee Los Angeles Liquid Lip in Topless. I got this with the palette, as I was saying earlier. I got the highlights and the palette, the Nudie Patootie palette, and this liquid lipstick all for, I think it was $28 bucks with, um, with shipping. I was like, oh my goodness. So this, I found, is like the perfect nude shade I literally love it it's like my lip color but a little bit more peachy I really like it so my lip is looking a little too matte for me so I'm gonna add this lip gloss this is the iconic London gloss in love struck oh my gosh it's a lip pump it's a lip plumping gloss and the font is so small on the bottom I couldn't even read it but I didn't know this was a lip um, plumping gloss because it doesn't like sting your lips like you can feel a little bit of a tingle but nothing crazy all right, so then last but not least is setting spray. I would use my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist, but I have this Jane Iredale Pomist Hydration Spray. It looks like this. I got it from work, actually. They gave us like a bag of Jane Iredale stuff, and this spray, like the mist, is like so nice. So I'm gonna use this, and it's a hydration spray, and my skin is so dry in the winter time. So this is perfect. It like gives you a nice like moisture to your skin and also sets your makeup. All right guys, and that is it for today's Christmas holiday slash my birthday look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really love the way this green eyeshadow turned out and the green liner. I literally have never put like a colored liner in my waterline before, but I really like it. It gives like a nice pop to the eyes. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.